Hey guys, Casey Nine CUK here with another video, and I, this is an inch. These are a couple interesting items. I think every ham shack should have one, and even if you're not a ham radio operator, even if you're into CB radio, FRS, GMRS, any RF hobby, I think you should have one of these meters, and they're super cheap. And we'll get into that in a bit. Uh, yeah, and as everybody knows, I'm trying to promote anybody that wants to send me anything. I'll try to promote your group or business that's radio related. Uh, this is the 415 hat. Look at this thing, huh? Pretty awesome. Got my call sign in the back, KC9CUK. 415, there's their field day pin. Uh, their club call is N9WH, November 9 Whiskey Hotel. And I'll put a link to their Facebook or their Facebook or their website below this video. So I think they're going on 16 years. Great group. They do an amazing field day out here in McHenry County every year. So check that out if you want to. Link will be right below the video. So let's get to it. Okay, here's what we're looking at today. A couple really nice field strength meters. They come from Surecom. And there's a, a model with a built-in battery and a built-in preamp. Uh, they give you the USB, a uh, little USB cable just to charge up the built-in battery. And obviously it turns on a little red light when it's powered. And this is a sensitivity adjustment. This is the SS11, and it's about $40. This one is the SS10, same exact meter without the preamp. Also has a sensitivity adjustment, but like I said, doesn't need a battery, no preamp. Not as sensitive, of course, because of that. And this one is about $35. I would buy both. I own both. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased both of these with money out of my own pocket, and I use them both. I leave this one in the shack up on the radio shelf. Uh, this is the stock antenna it comes with here, and I just leave this antenna on there fully extended, and I leave the sensitivity way up, and that way, if I've got a leaky coax or a loose coax connector or something going on when there's RF in the shack, it picks it up right away. I've even done some testing. Uh, with that, where I loosened up the connector just a little bit, and it started showing signals. So it's great for picking up problems in the shack um, before they become damaged equipment or something of that nature. Uh, the one with the built-in preamp, I also love, and I love this for testing. This is great for um, comparing antennas outside, um, sniffing out RF problems, or trying to find a uh, you know, some type of interference. This is extremely sensitive. So let's do a quick test here. Um, by the way, the frequency range on both of these from 100 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz, so they cover everything. So it doesn't matter if you're doing ham radio, CB radio, uh, GMRS, FRS. I don't care what you do. If you're in an RF hobby, you should get one of these if you don't already have one. And they're very nice. They're well built. They're metal. I also want to show you, this, they do come with a manual. This one is for the uh, SS11, the high sensitivity with the built-in preamp. They just come with the user manual. It's pretty self-explanatory, but what's nice in the manual is it does discuss, has a nice uh, block diagram. You don't see this in most stuff anymore. Uh, explanation of how the circuit works. And it also shows you uh, the meter and the transmitters, you know, uh, what your transmitter power is, the distance to the meter. And then it gives you a nice scale uh, for the test sensitivity across different frequencies. So all the way from 100 kilohertz all the way up to 3 gigahertz. So it has all kinds of other information on it, you know, but like I said, it's pretty uh, good specifications. But I think it's nice that, you know, they do include a manual. A lot, of, a lot of products don't even have a manual anymore. These are actually featured in a video that hasn't been released yet. I actually filmed it about a year ago, and we didn't finish the video because it ran into winter, and we still need to get some footage. So I use these in the mobile antenna shootout video that will be released here soon. So look forward to that. And, yeah, anyway, give you a quick back shot here uh, very simple uh, this is the SS11 obviously they have the same exact specs and everything from Surecom and you can screenshot this if you want the information but I'll leave links down below this is an aftermarket antenna just another telescoping this is the stock one you can see the stock one's rather small um, and this one is a lot longer a lot more heavy duty and I like this because it makes the meters more sensitive and it's, it's, it's very cheap. You can get a couple of them. for And, and they have the SMA connector. So you can go to um, the SMA on this to an adapter if you want to adapt it to BNC or SO239. So these are great little meters to have in and around your shack. And let's get a quick measurement on them here. 
yeah, they're they're only like three inches across. Let's call it four inches tall and then two inches deep. So they're great, very compact, easy to throw in your go bag or your little test bag with your antenna analyzer, stuff like that. Just a quick test on these. Um, let's go ahead and throw the antenna on this. And we'll leave no antenna on the other one. We'll turn the sensitivity up to about half. Let's see here. We'll turn the sensitivity. We'll turn this one on. I'm going to put an antenna on it. And we have an HT here, simple HT, 5 watts on the 70 centimeter band on simplex. Let's turn it down to low power and give our call. KC9 CUK testing. So you'll notice that uh, the one with the antenna is picking up signal. Uh, right there, the passive one. This one's still picking up signal with no antenna because this one has the preamp, so it's way more sensitive. I can get it to peg out the meter really easily. Um, where this one, you know, even if I, I crank it up with the antenna, I can finally get it to go up. But the sensitivity on this is a lot higher. So if I take the antenna off of this one, just to kind of show how sensitive, this one doesn't read even if, let's see here. Yeah, even if I crank it all the way up, you don't get a reading on this. But anyway, there's a comparison of the two, you know, for sensitivity. And you can see if one HD antenna is outperforming another. Obviously, it's a very simple test, but make sure you have the HT in the same spot, meter in the same spot. So they're great for testing. They're great for finding problems. They're just a really nice little meter, and they've, they've got a large uh, meter display. So I love them. Uh, I didn't think I'd be too excited about an RF uh, signal strength meter, but I find myself using them all the time, and they're really handy to have in the shack. Links down below. There are affiliate links. I do get credit for that. It does help out the channel. Make sure you like subscribe, and share this video. It makes a big difference, and I appreciate your support. See you on the next video.